All right. We are backstage at Boots and Hearts with one of my favorite humans in the whole world. <laughs> Lindsay L., how are you? Uh, girl, likewise, I am so good. Today has been a day I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. And how did you wake up this morning at Boots and Hearts? I woke up the bus... Uh, drove into the festival grounds and I heard the wonderful wailing guitars of that don't impress me much and I was like it's gonna be a good day this guys. is a good day it's gonna be a good day <laughs> so you are going to be on stage right before Queen Shania Twain w like what would little Lindsay L think of this because obviously you grew up you know looking up to Shania Twain and now you're playing at Boots and Hearts like I'm getting emotional as you say that like yeah. 10 year old little Lindsay grew up listening to Shania and singing in the mirror I'm emotional. with like a plastic microphone yeah. like wanting to be her like she is the reason why I'm a part of country music today and so to be able to open for her at Boots and Hearts on Canadian territory it just is like it's truly a dream come true uh, I'm so happy <laughs> for you this is gonna be so fun so you actually got to kind of go to Vegas and see her show which I've yeah. I hate saying this in public, but I've not seen Shania Twain to. live, so I'm pretty pumped for tonight. You need to. She is incredible. Everything that you hope a Shania show is, it is, and more. Like, she just brings it all. And she, as a woman, I always say this, as a female artist, it is very hard to be, like, to stand firmly in your ground and say what you mean, say it with class, be sexy while doing it. And she does yeah. it, like, effortlessly every single time. And so I just look up to her so much. And being able to... You know the saying, never meet your heroes, because it's yep. always scary. She is the best. She's For the sure. best human. So down to earth, so real, so Canadian. We love her. Yeah. We love Shania. Shania is the ultimate queen. She is for sure. Okay, last time I talked to you was, I think, two months ago at Cavendish. Yeah. And you were about to go on stage, like, seconds. I stole her, and we had a chat. And I reminded you that it was the first time you were going to play right on time on Canadian soil. What was that experience like? Because I could hear them singing every <laughs> word back to you so magical yeah. I mean it's it's amazing just having this song climb up the charts right now on country radio and being able to watch fans like fall yeah. in love with it like seeing that direct reaction I'm just so so grateful and um, this is a song that just means a lot to me you know I think that it's a really important message that we all remember that we are right on time exactly where we need to be in our life for whatever reason you know we're, we're all writing our own stories and um, and so it's it's just really cool to see people falling in love with the song. It's also got to be good, like in your mindset, to sing that song every night because it's such a good reminder, even for yourself, like to just like don't worry about what's happening in life. Everything's Preach. happening like right on I mean, time. I write songs for it's everybody, for but I first most <laughs> write songs for my own brain, so I could be like, remember, Lindsay, yeah. remember this. This is a good thing to remind yourself every day. Yeah, that's it's such a positive message song, which I Thank love. You is this kind of what this new project is going to look like as far as yeah. just the theme of it? Yeah, I've just been writing songs that just make you feel good. You know, I'm, I'm just in a really happy place in my life. I'm so grateful to be writing the music that I am and touring and playing the shows we are, being back to be able to play live again. And um, and so, yeah, the, this next chapter of music will definitely reflect that. Uh, I can't wait. And I mean, just speaking of being at Boots and Hearts Sunday, all female lineup on the main stage, first time that's ever happened. Mm. And you're also nominated for Female Artist of the Year at the CCMAs. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Being a female, I feel like you guys have all just band together and just, you know, kind of said, we're just going to do what we do. We're yeah. going to be who we are. And I feel like it's a really good time to be a woman in country music. I really do, too. I yeah. feel like my fellow peers as female artists are writing just incredible music, like stuff that's so good. And so more fans are wanting to seek it out and listen to it. And as our format and genre grows like women of country music are like taking a very important stance for sure right now and i am totally here for it <laughs> well we are here for it we cannot wait for new music and i cannot wait to see you rock the stage in these boots ah! hey these are just my warm-up boots oh these are these, these are, are for warm -up you boots. these are for you are you kidding i can't yeah. wait to see what Shania your show boots, boots look like <laughs> they, those are gonna be special awesome yeah, 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 yeah. all right Lindsay l at boots and hearts thanks for watching this video and to see more interviews from boots and hearts Click over here, and then if you want to subscribe and like our channel on Pure Country, right over here.